guys, it's Melissa. Happy Monday. Sorry, I haven't seen you in a little while. Why am I so extra short today? Okay, so I'm in this awkward angle because I'm going to flip you around in a minute so you can see my computer screen. Um, and I want to show you guys some tricks for using those templates that you can make the popular um, subway art for the first day of school. So um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's something like this. This is super, super basic. Also, you guys want to know how much I love you? I printed this, um, I had to flip it horizontally so that it would show up correctly. This one is actually correct, but it's backwards. See, this stuff is all correctly oriented, but it's backwards because of the way the camera. So I reprinted it just for you. You guys are my favorites. And I mean, I even struggled a little, like, I don't know why my printer did this, but anyway, this is what we're doing. Um, and these are really popular. I don't know if your kids are about to go back to school. It looks like some schools started today. My kids are going back next Tuesday. Um, but anyway, so I want to show you how to do this. I literally did this in about five minutes. And ugh, this in about five minutes. So I'm going to show you um, how to do that. This particular um, setup template is in, included in the back to school bundle. And all you have to do is fill it in. You can customize it however you want. You can make it different colors. And then when you're done, you just frame it. Um, and your kids can hold it up on the first day of school. And bonus, there's a last day of school one included as well. So you get two for one. Actually, if you get it with the um, back to school bundle, you got a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to flip you around and show you how this works. So give me just a second. You will see what I mean. Whoa, this is like way too close. It's down when I'm like way too close. Too much information. Okay, so you can see I flipped it here because um, I needed to print it backwards. All right, so here's the thing. Um, all right, once you download, let me see, first day of school, here it is. It's part of the, like I said, it's part of the back to school bundle, um, which is available right now. I think it's, yep, $19.99. Um, it includes all this fabulousness. And we are focusing on this template right here. Oh boy, I have 10% of my battery left on my phone. We better get moving. Uh, but you get all of this and that is a fabulous savings of like 90% off, okay? All right, so, and you can make these and print them out and sell them because it's commercial use, all right? So it's great. Okay, so download the bundle, and once it's on your computer, you'll have this folder, first day of school. Um, I There's a lot of different options here. You can see here's the last day of school option as well. The first day of school option is here. I'm gonna use the SVG. That's the one I would suggest you use if you can. Um, otherwise, you can use the PNG and trace it, but I would use the SVG if you can, okay? So we're actually not even going to do any type of cutting with um, what we're doing here because I just like to print it. I think it's um, the fastest, most efficient way. However, if you decide that you want to cut this, you can certainly cut it on vinyl. You could put it on a chalkboard. You could put it on a whiteboard. You could, you know, put it, I don't know what you want to do with it. There's all different ways, but I just printed it out, so I didn't even worry about cut lines or anything, okay? All right, so here's the template. Now, the nice thing is this one comes with an example, so you're not left wondering, uh, what exactly do I put here? What goes here? Of course, this is just a suggestion, but you can do with it what you want. Now, I, as you saw, oh my gosh, where is it? As you saw, I changed mine to pink, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing that I did was select the entire thing, and I just went, um, where are we? Can you see? Okay, let's make this a little smaller so you can see everything. Okay, there we go. No, here we go. Okay, so this is Silhouette Studio, obviously, but if you have a different program, you can do the same type of a thing. All right, so I made it pink by just going to the fill color panel and changing the color. If you have a little boy and you wanna do a different color, you can do that, or you have somebody who says, you know what, I like this all pink, but I only want um, this right here to be black, okay, that's fine, ungroup, select what you want, change the color, okay, so you can customize this as much as or as little as you want, all right, you want that to be green, blue, whatever you want, okay, so that's that, now, that doesn't really look right with, let's just leave it like that, okay, so now you just need to go in and fill in the template, okay, so my suggestion would be to go with one font, all right? One like bold type of a font. So um, I am just gonna use Arial uh, Black, but you're gonna pick your 
text tool over here and then you're just gonna st start typing. Okay, so here I've got Olivia, I'm gonna position that. Now, the quickest way to do this um, is to make the first box and then just copy the whole box and move it around. So now, what goes in this box? This box goes kindergarten. Actually, let's make one for Blake since I already did Olivia. All right, so I'll just change, okay? Blake, maybe he doesn't want purple, but we'll change that later. Okay, he's going into second grade. Okay, change this, second grade. Okay, too big, no problem. Just adjust the size, okay? So it fits in the box, all right? Now what in the world goes over here? Not sure, okay, look, right here, the date. All right, this is dummy proof, guys. Okay, so August, my kids are starting back um, next week, next Tuesday. So what I would not do is type the whole thing in here like this. I'm typing so sideways. If you saw me, you would laugh. I would not do this, okay? I would not try to make it in one box and squish it all down. My suggestion, as always, with word art and subway style art is to actually make multiple boxes so that you have the freedom to kind of move around and you don't have to ungroup. All right, so I would just do a second box here and then change it, okay? And then that way you can change the sizing if you want, you can change the text style, whatever it is you want. Okay, so now I am, how old is my son? Seven, he's seven. Okay, enlarge. All right, so you're gonna fill all these boxes in, okay? I'm not gonna do them all because I don't wanna waste your time. But that's what you're gonna do, okay? You, you guys got the idea, okay? And plus, I don't really know how tall he is or who his teacher is, um, and he has a new best friend every week, same with a favorite food and least favorite food, so it's like, I'm not gonna try and fill this in. I gotta ask him. Okay, so now, if you printed this as it is now, this stuff that you just typed would not print out because one, it does not have a solid fill and two, it, the line does not have a weight. So nothing would print except the template itself. So you need to select all of these pieces and fill them with a solid color. However, you can do this very quickly without having to hold down shift and try to select. What you can do is go up to the select by color tool, which is up here along the top toolbar and you get this panel here, and if you just click select by line color and then click red, everything that has a red cut line or line color, which is everything that you just wrote, typed out, will select. And then you can quickly fill it with whatever color it is that you want, okay? All right, now let's, just, let's change this again to something that maybe Blake might like a little more. So now I'm gonna, I need all the pink to be selected, same thing. Um, so let's click all the pink and we'll change that to green because Blake likes green, okay? And this, maybe we want to change that to yellow, all right? And maybe we want to change this little line right here also to yellow, okay? So you can customize it however you want. And then when it's time, you can go up and you have your print tool, which you can't see because of um, the little live thing, but it's up here. If you do print, it will literally just print like this right to your computer, and you'll end up with a printed sheet like this. Now, as I said, you can print and cut this. I mean, you can print, cut this on vinyl if you want. You could cut it in layers, um, but it's much, much, much easier to just print it and frame it, and honestly, um, I, I mean, that's the way I prefer, but if you have somebody that wants this that they want to use every day, every year and then they want to like you know type they want to write in with chalk what grade or whatever you can do this um on vinyl cut the template on vinyl and then put these like on put it on um chalkboard vinyl okay and then let them fill it out all right but that's the way you can use these templates um they are super easy to use as i said it's part of the back to school bundle which has 77 designs six fonts all kinds of stuff if you need first day of school shirts. Um, you know, all, this whole set right here is $8 and it has 
um, all of the first to fifth grade, I mean, kindergarten, preschool, excuse me, to fifth grade. Um, you can have teacher gifts in here. There's some fonts. There's all kinds of fun stuff, okay? So monograms, um, doodles. This is actually a dingbat font, which I love. All right, well, another font. Okay, all right, so head on over and grab this. What um, what would I charge for these? I used to sell these, and I think I sold them for like 12 bucks or something, um, and they sold like hotcakes. If you... Um, if you take a cute little picture with this framed and your kid and you tell people, you know, hey, I can make this for you. Just give me this information and you just list the stuff out that you need, the name, the grade, the date, um, and then just fill them in. They, You can even um, print it out for them or, um, well, for this, you have to give them on SoFonts, you have to give them the physical um, good. So this would need to be printed, but I would charge like probably 12 bucks, 15 bucks. All right. Whatever it is that they would pay in your market, but I would not go below $10 because these are really popular um, and people love them. They love anything personalized. All right. All right, guys, head on over and grab that and hopefully I'll see you later this week. Bye.